dance, mime, and symbolism communicating the ideology and experience of enslaved people with roots in West African religion. The mask is of great importance in African religions, and the mask is also very important in Jankuno. So I'm going to have Calypso Jack tell me the masks that we have here today. Come over here. With a chair. Give him the chair. So, and give me a mic, dear. Oh, oh. You can use the mic over there. Okay, sit down over here, Calypso Jack. Use the mic over there. A reminder to listeners that we are live streaming here now. And just so, let me just make a note say, yeah. May I wave to everybody and send kisses. All right. So, Calypso Jack, which, yeah. which masks we have here today? Well, we have like uh, the... John Canoe Mass. Yeah, but which ones? Which ones? Yes. Okay, the like characters. Which characters? Yes. yes. <clears throat> we have the uh, the cowhead. The cowhead. That they call. Cowhead, step up here, people get to see you. <clears throat> the cowhead, yes. They call him the bull. The bull. Yeah. All right. Now we have the devil. Where is the devil? But don't the devil used to have a different color face? Yes. Right. So yes. So change the face. But we um. You know, as time goes on, we change the face. You didn't like the first face. You didn't like the first one? You know why? Because it never looked like we. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, All right. Next, we have the wild Indian. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, next, we have uh, Jack in the Green. Jack in the Green. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, we have a pregnant woman. What, the belly woman? Yes. When I call her the pregnant woman, yeah. we're talking about Yes, Jankun, call, call her the belly Jankun woman. is the belly woman. The belly woman. So when yeah. the belly woman there? The belly woman is out, uh, outside there. I think right. um, gone to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yes. So the belly woman will come in. Yes. And I must let you know that Sandra, who works in the office there, says she's afraid to death of the belly woman. Okay. She said when the belly woman comes, she gone. Lord, me do mm, not know. Me not think. Me not know if she thinks. No, it, Sandra, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Come on, come. <laughs> belly woman, not do, do anything. Yes. Then we have now, um, the bass drum. Yes. The bass drummer. Mm-hmm. Sir. Yeah, man. Give me something. Give me something. The bass drummer. We have the bass drummer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, we have um, um. Lando, my grandson, mm-hmm. on the flute. You know something? I love the idea that a young youth yes, ma'am. is playing the flute. Yes, Sister B. That the belly not big enough over that three-month belly. We want a nine-month <laughs> belly. <laughs> Here comes belly man. Yeah. Belly woman, absolutely. Yes. Come belly woman, come introduce them and could get free introduce you. Mm-hmm. Belly woman, sorry. They might laugh after me come. It's a belly Introducing man. the belly woman. It's a belly woman. Mm-hmm. Belly look like it's slightly dropped today. Yeah, it look like him a uh, baby dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. yeah, this is it. And of and course, all, Calypso Jack, what's the type of drum that you play? Um, the side drum, they call it kettle. It's a kettle drum. Kettle drum. It's a kettle drum. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they also play the kettle drum in revival too, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. In the Pokemania okay. style and, and so forth. Pokemania style. Yes, Pokemania. Ma'am. yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, how long you been doing this, Calypso Jack? Because me, you know, personally, when me, you know, I think we've been together about 20 years. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. From down to both be a breed. And you know what year that, that is to both be? That yes. 2004. Okay. So you see how long? Yes, it's a long time, Sister P. A long time? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. You see the day when we, we come up to Puff Bay? Mm-hmm. That day, you didn't invite us up for a thing like that. A we come up the Pamwe Hoon. That's right. Because another Jankunu from yes. Ocherias was mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And when we were outside of the gate, Mm-hmm. And when we show them what Jankun is like That's from right. Port Maria, they send and call you. Yep. And you say, all right, you know, come. 
mm. come in come see when you can what of mm. you mm. and from that time from that day until today yes ma'am it was february 2004 yes ma'am mm -hmm. and we've and been together since that yes sister mm -hmm. p mm -hmm. and then we move it up to somerset falls mm -hmm. yes ma'am mm -hmm. yes i'm still with you the last time <laughs> The last time before I come to to this um, radio station, to your radio station, mm -hmm. it was in uh, uh, first of August. It was the first of August mm -hmm. when we was um, yes, we decided expecting to have an hurricane. Yes, yes, uh, hurricane, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. yes and, and we know. were doing and trying to do an emancipation day. Yes, ma'am. But also, I was telling someone that that um, the thing on Jamaica that was done on CNN, I think it was with Anthony Bourdain, I had booked you all for that group, for yes. that show out at, it was not a show, I had booked you for the castle. The castle, that's right, mm -hmm. with that little short raster man. <laughs> His name is Rick. <laughs> Rick. Oh, a very genuine man. Sister P, in every walks of life, I always respect you because, let me tell you, you're better than the GCDC with them called Culture Development Commission. Yes, you're better them than, than them to us. And because you said those people but, work in culture. Me live culture. Yes. That's the difference. Me love culture. Yes, ma'am. Nobody can pay me for the culture. Yes, ma'am. Me do culture. That is my life. Yes. Those people are paid. Yes. With a job. That's right. So when it comes time, and another thing too, we don't live in a high falutin lifestyle. Yes. We live like everybody else. Yes, ma'am. So one thing about me you know, you see, except for like today, as I uh, understand the circumstance. Yes. If when on uh, never work a few we sent and go home without an appear. True. You understand what I mean? Yes, ma'am, that's because right. Me know. know. But I have to say something here now. Yes. You see, when it comes to traditional culture, no yes. matter ball and no out. Yes. And you have to be a lot more professional. Yes. Because the things and times change. Yes, ma'am. And people have managers and agents and all these kind of something. Yes. And the people, them don't even want to hear nothing about traditional culture. Yes. So this is the reason that you know is here today. Yes. And a big part of it. Yes. Is to make the people, them overseas. Yes. See you know. Yes. And no say. Them at over there, I think about them picnic days and say, boy, when we did there, Jamaica, you know, yes. we did have junk on them. To make them know, say, some people still keeping it alive. Yes, ma'am. And it is very important. Yes, ma'am. That some people still keeping it alive. Yes, Sister P. Yes. So yes. this is what we're doing today. And hopefully it will, you know, draw more people to realize that. Also, I should say that John Cunha, for people who don't know, is something that is done mainly around Christmas time. Yes, ma'am. And Me of course... Remember. Yes. Wait, did they ever have the fog? Yeah. Me remember when me a picnic, you know? Yeah. And the devil will come with the fog, you know? Yeah. A gone, me gone. <laughs> yeah. A gone, me gone. Yeah, so, run all under the bed. You know, <laughs> You run, yes. you run, and you have enough people here that them can tell you when them are picking them. You so run from John Connor too. Yes, ma'am. But the music of John Connor is exceptional. Yes, it's exceptional. And I mean, just to hear the flute. What's the difference with flute and five? I just said something. Give me that. All right, make a fast in your business. How old you be? Nineteen. What a what a something. 
but a joy. You I'm see a, a youth, a 19 year old youth, playing. I'm then they give us I'm hope. A, yes, ma'am. I'm a grandson, you know. That our tradition yes. will continue. Yes. All right. Give me some of this up now. We live. Some of this now. We yes. live now. Yes. We're streaming. Yes. We tell the listeners them from our boat say yes. we're well, going to be here. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to see you now. Yes. So me going come out of your way. Yes. And you do your thing. Okay. All right. Yes. Mike, them set up. Did, yes, it? Yeah. Yes.
As the brethren so the ancestors cry out, give thanks to the ancestors, give thanks that them never did jump overboard the ship. You know, um, give thanks that them never did throw them overboard so that some of our culture can be maintained. Somebody phone I go off anyway. Um, just to keep it going. Listeners, what do you think? What do you think? Let us know. Remember that, you know, I'm always telling us, say, I can't talk to myself alone. And a lot of times it's only Isis or Mac or Alex. And, oh, before I go any further, I just wanted to let you know that the Port Maria Communal Group, they're... Transportation was paid for by Alex in Tampa, Florida, and an anonymous listener who did not want their name called. So I really have to give thanks to them and for them for understanding how important it is to maintain our culture. Say the way I mean run the tune. You're not, you're not, wait a minute. You're not streaming as they say. Me not run no tune. It's live in the studio. What you think? We have to just run tune? No, man, this is the real something. This is live in the studio. Them a dance, me a dance, everybody a dance. So we're going to take a break and we're going to take, run your ads, Cassidy. And we have anything, any time signal at 12.30. Okay, just run your ads and let me do the time signal. Portland Jerk Center Restaurant for the best in authentic dishes, jerk chicken, jerk pork, and more. Main Street, Brownstown, St. Anne, 12 Harbor Street, Port Antonio, and now open in Stuart Town, St. Mary. Also coming to 70 Stennett Street, Port Maria, St. Mary in October 2019. Portland Jerk Center, a Yasso Night. Yasso Night. The Portland the time by the Portland Jerk Center is twelve twenty eight. Hey yo, Mookie, say yo. <laughs> it's Takeover Thursday. It is a place I know I'd really love to take you. Styles and each year Mookie's gonna be playing big tunes there. Takeover Thursday. Takeover Thursday. Take over Thursdays. This and every Thursday from 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. Hey, this is Shauna representing for DJ Prestige with The Hotline, where new music gets the spotlight. On South FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. From 9 to 1 p.m. each and every Friday morning. Prestige. Do it now, baby. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Uh on the roof. No, sir. Oh, where yeah, they got the song there? Only on Thursday Night Groove with Louis Lecky from 9 p.m. to midnight on Styles FM. Every Thursday, it's not your average retro program.
Okay, just talk to Mookie. You know, he said that he was coming in early for the junk on him. Just talk to him. And you know, you know, Mr. Mookie, excuse, excuse, excuse. But anyway, for those of you that are here with us, um, we're going to go back. Just a reminder that Alex in Tampa, Florida, and an anonymous donor are responsible for bringing the group to the station. And I really want to thank them ever so much. So, are you ready for doing anything again? All right. Mm -hmm. Come with the drums, with the fire for everybody. Yeah, yeah, they might have to come. Mm -hmm. Listeners, as me say, where on a where on a comments as it says Cassidy bless up yourself Cassidy Clover in Toronto Canada says love it sister P and say this says run the tune sister P and as it says okay I wish I could be there and me see your dance. <laughs> I love it, Empress. And let's see what else is there. Where else do we have there, Cassidy? Oh, I need to say good morning to Rastris, because she's there. Go down the thing there for me. Rastris. Inti says that he used to run under the bed when they, when he when made the junk and the music come in. So he used to run under the bed. And um, Lady Grace, who is in Georgia, Stony Mountain, I think it's Stony Mountain, Georgia, says, of course, that she loves it. Move me up there, Cassidy. Let me see if there's any more comments that I have to. Alex, um, mm -hmm. Anthony in Pennsylvania, loving it. Can't get enough. And these are the things. You know, um, for those of you who are overseas, Instead of me playing music about dashing through the snow, what a ridiculous thing in a Jamaica. We're going to be dashing through snow on a, on a, on a what do you call it? Really? A one horse open sleigh. This is it. And I'm not dashing through no snow. This is, this is probably something. Probably something. And everybody ready or them not yes. come back yet? Everybody's here? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, McCoy, ready for start again or what? Let me see what. Kenny, Alex in Tampa says, great positive movement. That's all we have back in the days to keep us motivated. And Kevoy in Kevoy in Sunny Hill, St. Thomas, love, love it. So you see, St. Thomas arrange to make the Port Maria coming up, not coming up, John Connor group come. And for all of you out there, when you're having functions, you can use the group because. We, we turn our backs on traditional people. And it's a shame. It's a disgrace. We have a way in Jamaica of something new come in. We're not business with what was there before. We just dash it away. So, for those of you who respect our African ancestors, who love our an African ancestors, let us keep our culture and our heritage going. So, once again... Let us go through with Port Maria, John Connor Group.
Okay. Oh, you still have more. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. But you know, the, the, the thing for this program is says that the spiritual, for a truly cultural experience. I don't think you can get any more cultural than what we have done today. And um, Calypso Jack yes, and Belly Woman, Haas, um, Cowhead, Green Man, everybody. Five, drummer. Devil, but no, I miss nobody, you know. Yeah. You know, okay, you see, you see what you're wearing? Pitchy patchy. What? In Ghana, they have pitchy patchy, you know. Exact same, exact same. They have pitchy patchy. And it, it is so good because pitchy patchy is one that definitely has traveled over here with us. Yeah, there is pitchy patchy. When I saw Pitchy Patchy in Ghana, I couldn't, I said, oh my goodness, it's the same thing, Pitchy Patchy. I just want to thank, did I miss anybody? <laughs> What's the sister's name? Natalie. And Natalie says that she's actually a part of the group. Yes, ma'am. So what do you do with the group, Natalie? You was a better woman. Oh, you was a belly woman, but some kind of mix up and something happened and she didn't get to reach with the group, but she's here. And um, how was it for you, Natalie? Mm -hmm. You said that you were at home when you heard the group on the radio. And how was... 
listening to it on radio. How was it? Mm -hmm. We always talk about Jamaica people and how them talk. Now you say it was all right. Was it good? So why we can't use the word good? Why we can't use the word good? At least you never say it wasn't bad. Because this is the way we talk. We talk backwards. Okay. Listeners. Okay. Um, Chatanda says, let me read this here yesterday. This music or meditation shows that no matter what is said or done, we are proud Africans. Yes, give thanks that our family survived to keep our heritage and culture alive. Let me see what else you have there for me, Cassidy. Miss Brown. Good afternoon, Sister P and Cassidy. Good vibes. Well, I say that she done gone off already, you know. Me don't know she never got going a spirit. Me don't know if there was anybody else to put with anybody there. Say that nobody did that if you put the matches stick in your head in your head front. If you take your out of spirit, me don't know. You know them. You don't know, I don't know them something there, so. Me know them something there, so. Can I, can I suggest, do you know say me know them something there, so. You know, so you know them sitting there too, aren't you? Oh, you yeah, mean? You give me a surprise, you know. Me I give you a surprise? Yes, we just match your stick and sit when they, when they get in at the mile in their spirit. Oh, then. You know. then. Yes. Calypso Jack. Yes, ma'am. How much coming are me there about? <laughs> me no must know them something there, so. Yes, yes, yes. Me no must know them. Me, you, also, what me know? When somebody go in a mile. Yes. You just keep the rhythm. You don't bother start with no fancy, fancy nothing and carrying no, on. Yeah. You just keep one steady rhythm. Yes, man. You know, one time my drumming group was playing at a dead yard. And my daughter was playing the kumi. You know, so she, yes. you know, so she plays. Yes. And this woman was there saying, she gone off in a mile, you know. Yeah. And she said, they must mix up black and white. They must mix up black and white. And that's how she does say, so you know. Yes. You know what? You know why she was saying that? When it carry her off? Because they must sing in the coming of songs. The people them that was there and then sing in the next people them song. Yes. 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 yes, yes. So she keeps saying. But true now, my daughter, she no use to the coming She no say. And then no. She, there was a drummer there, it was my daughter playing, and she drew off the drummer and said she want the girl to play. Yeah. And through my daughter now, you know, them buckle torch. You remember buckle torch? Yes, ma'am. You need to tell her, keep, just keep the rhythm, just keep the rhythm. No, ma'am, I know them something there, so. Yes. And they all dance with them to when them gone after, you know. Mm. Mm. Mm, they dance with them to when them gone off, but they may throw you down, so you have to be careful. <laughs> Once again, enough thanks. This has been a truly cultural experience. And anything, now normally we don't do big ups on my program, but I will allow you all to do your big ups. Where is the mic? Because I'm sure that being on radio and coming all the way from Port Maria, come who want to do big up and nobody wants to do nothing. Talk, talk, All talk, right. talk. <clears throat> All right. Yes, this yes, is, yes, yes. We'll wait for you. This is Malcolm Online. And I'm bigging up the Malcolm family and the Walters. We are all here from Port Maria. And I'm bigging up my mom and brothers and sisters. Big up all. Big up, big up. Okay, on behalf of the, uh, the crew, the Junkuna group, I am the leader for the group from 1962 and um, sending a special Christmas greeting all over the world to everybody. 
My name is Calypso Jack, otherwise Clifford Walters. It's number 6 Beacock Street in Port Murray. You can call my number if you want to chat with me about Jankunu. I tell you how I get to, you know, to go into Jankunu because I took up the toss from my old parents who passed on from in the 60s. So then... Give out the number. Pardon me? Give out the number. Give out the number that them can contact you. Yes. And um, my number is 416-6781. I repeat, 416-6781. And it's Calypso Jack or Clifford Walters. Yes, and let me tell you something. I I've been with Sister P for a long time and let me tell you from I've been doing Jankuno is the only African woman that I can give her a hundred percent in the system and let me tell you this is very important you know so Sister P make me hold a Jankuno surfing ticket from the University College of the West Indies me never know that yes well, you never tell me. Benji, you remember the man where you sent me to, is it? Hey, Benji, At the ben university. You know, Benji, we bring it, Benji from, from Ghana. Yes, ma'am. Mm. And it was the 40th anniversary of the African Culture mm. Club in UTEC. Mm. And Sister P recommend me to go to that man. And the topic of the program was John Cano. Calypso Jack. Clifford Walters, John Kuno, and I got an award surfer ticket from him. I went back to the Nigerian embassy to do a function there, and they give me one also. Yes? And I, I am the St. Mary Port Maria National Hero Award. I have them on my desk at home for long service and dedication in the cultural thing in the parish of St. Mary. On behalf of my team, I hope you do enjoy this program um, and enjoy your cultural lady, Sister P. Goodbye, and I love you. Give me a call, right? Remember the number, 416 67 and 81. Port Maria, St. Mary, J.A. Love you. Okay, there's somebody else that wants to say something. Let's <laughs> Hello, this is Mr. Silvera. And all I have to say, Merry Christmas to everyone. And my mother, my sisters, and friends and family. Blessed love to the Jankuna crew, Calico Jack, Jankuna crew, and blessed love to Miss T. Sister P. Sister P and, and everyone FM. inside, and this is Style FM. Big up Style FM, and big up everyone, and bless. Anyone else, as we have to move along, I just want to say, give thanks for making it a spiritual vibrations program. Give thanks to all of you who participated, and I really want to give thanks to all who went on live streaming to see those of you who really showed how much you appreciate love your culture. I want to give thanks to Styles for giving me the opportunity to share with you and of course, I want to give thanks to the ancestors, as I always say. Give thanks that they didn't jump overboard. Give thanks that those wretched people did not throw them overboard. And they did survive. So have yourselves a healthy, peaceful, progressive, prosperous, and a happy week. And I am looking forward to being with you next week, Thursday, at 9 a.m. I should mention that the listener, Peter McKenzie, from... New York is in the house with us today. Peter is just visiting. He didn't even know what was that we were doing what we're doing, but he was very happy to see it. 
And I have um, from Alex. Let me just get some. Cassidy, let me just finish up these. Um, which says, Mama P, don't get me started. Because we're going to look to these historic contrib contributions even once a month on the program. Any more there from me, Cassidy, before I totally signed off? Mm. Too late. Hi. Um, yes. Um, any more there, Cassidy? Okay. Please stay. I know that you all look forward to <coughs> Mookie and myself, but he's going to have to do it without me because Peter McKenzie has brought his family to dine at Susumba restaurant. So I have to go. So please stay tuned for DJ Mookie.